Hello everyone, welcome to Visit Malta channel. In this video, I am going to talk about a reason for Malta visa refusal and rejection. Okay, because uh, nowadays uh, many many of the application got rejected uh, by the Malta embassy when you applied for the single working permit. Okay, so in this video, I am going to talk about the reasons for the Malta visa rejections by showing the sample visa rejection form that has been provided by the Malta Embassy and I am also going to explain how to avoid Malta visa refusal before you submit your application okay so there are more than 15 points uh, in the application form that they have provided uh, when uh, when they uh, reject the uh, reject your visa okay so i'm going to explain each and every point in very detail so watch till end of the video to come to uh, know each and every point how you can avoid a visa refusal visa because once your visa is um, uh, rejected, it is very hard to uh, reapply and uh, through the appeal system, which will take a lot of time. So it is it is very important to know why the visa get refused and reasons and how you can avoid it. OK, so watch till the end. Uh, as usual, uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel i may i may put the follow up video uh, to avoid the visa refusal so please uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel to see the follow up videos and don't forget to uh, click on the bell button to see all the videos alert all right let me show you the reasons for the rejections and explain this is the uh, this is the sample applications i mean the rejected uh, letter that has been provided by the malta embassy okay so you will see uh, the standard form for notifying reasons for the refusal, annulment or revocation of a visa. Please note that this rejection points that I'm going to explain, okay, throughout all the points, each and every points, okay. So this is not only applicable for the single working permit, it is also applicable for the tourist visa and whoever is applying for the visa to come in Malta okay so this applicable for everyone who is applying for the visa and especially this form is actually uh, uh, recently rejected uh, for one of the application so I'm going to explain okay so once you got this uh, rejected application from the embassy Malta all you have to do is verify carefully what is the reason they have marked for you for example for this application they have marked here the checkbox here the checkbox so these are the rejection uh, for the application i mean these are the reason for the rejection for your respective application okay so let me explain uh, the point one by one and by covering all the uh, uh, 10 to 15 points uh, for the reasons all right okay the first one it says false counterfeit forged travel document not presented which means most of the time the travel document uh, represent the passport your if your passport is uh, invalid or any uh, uh, mismatching information so they might reject your visa so that is the reason for uh, the first point okay and i'm going to little faster since there is many reasons uh, which i have to explain okay so watch till end of the video or i'll be uh, placing the another follow-up video so please don't forget to subscribe my channel to follow up the video all right the next one is uh, justification for the purpose and condition of the intended stay was not provided which means uh, you may you may give an invitation letter and cover letter which not described enough uh, your employer provided the job description very poorly then you may get the rejection okay of your visa the next one is an alert has been issued in the Schengen information system for the purpose of refusing entry by indication of member state which means if there is any complaint or uh, against you for any of the Schengen area they will update your information using your travel document especially the passport and in the EU system so which 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 will trigger when you apply for a visa for any Schengen country and that will give you a problem and uh, uh, based on that compliant they will reject your uh, visa even for the second point also it's a similar one or more member state consider you to be threat to a public policy internal uh, 
security public health as defined in article 2 okay so if you are in any any schengen area in the past or even in your country if you have any legal complaint against you so it will trigger in the central eu system which will make your uh, visa rejections okay <clears throat> and the next one is you have not provided proof of sufficient means of substance subsistence for the duration of the intent stay or for the return to the country of origin or residence so this means proof of expenses if you are not providing your proof of expenses uh, especially for the declaration of proof okay if you are going to uh, uh, handle your expenses or someone is going to sponsor you if the information like the bank statement is is not sufficient um, enough then your visa will get rejected so we have to be uh, clearly uh, mentioned who is going to uh, sponsor and the value uh, that you're uh, having in your bank statement okay so in the follow up video i might explain uh, in very detail what role the document that is very important uh, and how how you have to keep your document uh, uh, well, for not getting rejected okay so let me explain uh, the reasonable doubt as uh, to your intention to leave the uh, territory of member state before the expiry of the visa if there is no proper job information job position is strong uh, not strong enough uh, or your jo job position is temporary and uh, temporary and it is created not uh, created purposely for you to uh, come into malta travel to malta so if they have any doubt uh, like your job is not uh, not uh, not not a reasonable job and it is fakely created and if they have any uh, any kind of doubt they will reject this uh, reject your visa so that is the reason in, in many of the other video i used to explain your uh, your uh, invitation letter and job description provided by your employer has to be very professional neat and clean and uh, the responsibility also for your job it has to be uh, mentioned very clearly so which which uh, which makes the which makes the embassy multi embassy visa reviewer uh, to give a confidence that you are going for this job and uh, this is your roles and responsibility and the reputation of the company is good so so that kind of confidence that you have to provide in your document by uh, by uh, with with your uh, with your employer also okay I'll also cover this topic in my uh, future video. Okay. The next one is you have already stayed for 90 days during the current 180 days period on the territory of the member state on the basis of uniform, which means this will be applicable for the tourist visa. Okay. So every, every uh, tourist visa uh, is allowed to stay only 90 days. For example, 90 days in the maximum of 180 days in a year, which means in a year you are allowed to stay only 180 days in all the Schengen area, not only here in Malta. Okay, so if your stay is in 90 days in any of the Schengen area, you have to go back to your original country and come back again for another 90 days. So you are not allowed to stay continuously more than 90 days. Okay, also a maximum of 180 days only you are allowed to stay in a year. So if if you are applied for more than one uh, 90 days, uh, uh, and uh, I mean if you are if you are traveling uh, planning to travel back to uh, any of the Schengen area, more than 180 days, then your visa might be get rejected, right? Next one is um, you have not provided a proof of possession of adequate and valid travel <laughs> medical insurance. So I have covered this point in uh, other video how the travel insurance has to be okay and why the travel insurance is the date starting date and ending date uh, is very important and why um, the travel insurance date uh, compared with your uh, the travel itinerary ticket and your uh, visa date okay if you didn't watch that video please watch that uh, video in my channel also i'm going to cover uh, more detail uh, uh, about the travel insurance in the follow video so please subscribe my channel to watch that video don't miss out okay also your travel insurance has to be uh, approved approved internationally so if your travel insurance it's local uh, insurance and your visa get uh, reject all right next one is information submitted regarding the justification for the purpose and conditions of intended stay was not reliable for example mismatching with your job and other documents uh, you have uh, provided is um, is not uh, match for example your job description by provided by your employer and your cover letter is mismatching with the roles and responsibility 
and your intent and stay is not uh, very very clear uh, why you are coming to Malta and how long you are going to stay the, this kind of mismatch will uh, get your visa rejected all right next one is sufficient proof that you have not been in a position to apply for a visa in advance justifying application for a visa border was not provided Sometime if you are applying for this might be a for tourist visa if you are applying for the transit uh, uh, visa and uh, and your uh, uh, information is not sufficient for example your bank balance and but you are still applying for a visa uh, by crossing your uh, crossing the border applying for a transit visa then um, by considering you are uh, sufficient proof it may get rejected if you don't have a sufficient proof of uh, uh, expenses to cover your travels okay next one is you have not provided proof that you are in a position to lawfully acquire sufficient means of substances for the duration of the intended stay for the return of the country in origin residence for the transfer to your third country into which you are certain to be admitted which means for tourists again the, the both uh, some of the point is similar if your financial strength is not good enough to uh, uh, travel and transfer to the different uh, Schengen region your application might get rejected and even 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 for the single working permit if your proof of accommodation uh, was supported by any third party if the if the third party doesn't have any uh, proper background like uh, they don't have any uh, reputation in their financial your visa will get rejected because the person who who you are uh, who supporting you uh, supporting your sponsorship has to um, has to be has to be in a good stand of uh, financial status then only they will uh, consider that the person can accommodate you financially and support you otherwise they'll reject your visa okay and uh, justification for the purpose and condition of the indented airport transit was not provided missing transit information if you're traveling through non schengen area or the schengen area you're trying to uh, transit to other schengen area but your uh, request information is not uh, enough sufficient to grant the visa they will reject it okay and one or more member state consider you to be a threat to your public policy this is also similar to the other point that i have discussed above if any of the schengen area or even in your country if you have any criminal offense or any other complaint or any other uh, malpractice you have uh, in the eu records you may uh, get rejected okay there are reasonable doubt as to the reliability of the statement made as regards pre-specify which means um, based on your information like the bank statement if uh, bank statement or, or other cover letters or all other information it is not uh, mismatch again it's mismatching you will get rejected and one or more member state considered you to be a threat to their international relations again it's the same uh, to this point and at the above, above point if you have any uh, 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 compliance or uh, legal issues or any mismatching uh, behavior in other EU region or in uh, or in your country also you get uh, you'll get rejected so to be to be frank when, when when you plan to travel to abroad you have to be have a clean record in your country even if you have been in the past if you are uh, staying in any of the EU region or any other country you have to you should uh, you should uh, have a clean record because nowadays everything is centralized and based on your travel document all the information has been updated uh, and shared internationally which 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 will trigger uh, throughout the world for in all the countries all right the reasonable doubt as to the reliability as authenticity of the supporting documents submitted or as to be very veracity of their content okay this is very important invalid document the documents you have provided like passport itinerary uh, other ba uh, bank statement proof of id uh, uh, nationality and all other information it has to be uh, it has to be valid and uh, original when i say original you have to provide of course you have to provide the copy and uh, the copy should be clear and the information in the all the document should be legible when whenever they verified your document it has to be a uh, match uh, they should be uh, get the proper information that is that is mentioned your document uh, provided by you if it is any mismatching or if they see any uh, document is altered then the, you'll visa will get rejected and in and it will impact in your uh, uh, 
um, visa appeal also okay please note that this this rejection information also will be shared uh, to the respective department when you appeal for the video which i'm going to cover in the next next video how we are going to appeal and uh, what what are the things that you are going to uh, carefully uh, make sure to no not to not make a mistake again when you apply for a uh, appeal visa okay let me explain in the next video don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you will not miss the video when i'm explaining the visa appeal and again it's a similar point one or more member state consider you to be a threat to public uh, as a defining point 21 and article regulation so again in any of the member state if you have been in the past and had some uh, complaint or any forgery document or any any offense that has been recorded in the government portal your visa will get rejected okay and uh, revocation of the visa was requested by the visa holder this point is uh, nothing but for some reason if you are actually wanted to um, uh, revoke your visa so they will select this option of course they will not maybe some personal reason you will do that so for that reason they will uh, update this okay and uh, the next the next uh, next one is how how you can appeal and uh, the procedure uh, you can appeal and how long it will take uh, they will explain it which i'm going to explain in my next video Hope this video is very useful. If you want to follow up uh, for the upcoming video to uh, come to know how you can avoid because I'm going to explain very detail uh, each and every document why, why you are getting rejected and how to avoid uh, the rejection uh, and what role the, the common frequent mistake that the applicant is doing frequently uh, in the by providing the document. In my next video, I'm going to cover that okay so if you think this video is very useful please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, and also don't forget to click on the bell icon and select all which will uh, give you an alert to see all my videos and uh, stay tuned for my next video which i'm going to explain about uh, uh, how to appeal the visa and how you can avoid the visa rejection thank you for watching the video and good luck and you can always contact me at uh, visit to malta gmail.com and i am i'm available to um, in whatsapp chat also you can reach me out uh, by email which i will be providing you my whatsapp invite personally okay to the people who's uh, sending an email to me all right thanks again and good luck